Yo, what up? How you guys doing? Jake Steele. Today I'm going to give you some tips on how to get started in the tattoo industry. Check it out. So the absolute first thing you should do when pursuing a tattoo career from scratch as a beginner knowing nobody, you should hop onto Google. It's 2020 now, so we have Google, we have Instagram, we have Facebook. We have the world literally at our fingertips, so there is no excuse for being able to find a tattoo shop. So number one, go out there and find a tattoo shop, meet people, introduce yourself easy enough. One of the most important rules, I guess it's an unwritten rule, written rule, whatever. One of the most important rules in tattooing is respect. You need to respect people that have been tattooing longer than you. You need to respect your clients. This is a service industry. You are here to serve. This isn't about ego. This isn't about your work. This is about providing a service to a client. So, most importantly, respect. When you're first starting to tattoo, you need to do things either for free, on friends and family, or for a discounted rate so you can get your name out. Super important, a lot of people don't wanna do it. A lot of people jump right in and they act like a rock star and they just end up not really getting anywhere and having no real longevity with what they do. So you always gotta be humble and you gotta start out giving out free or discounted stuff. Find a buddy. Find an artist that's a little bit ahead of you and hang with them. I know it's easier said than done. You know, like I was always that awkward guy. Hi, do you wanna be friends? People be like, I, I don't, I don't wanna, no, I'm good. So eventually, do what it takes to just find a buddy, hang out with them. You need a support system if you're starting out to do tattoos. You need somebody that is just a little bit ahead of where you're at so you kind of have a direction and you have a peer group and you're gonna start to accumulate more and more connections and friends like that. This is a vital role. Find a mentor. Now a lot of people's mentors are their bosses. You don't have to exclusively have a mentor that's a boss. So your mentor could be some third party that you go to and you could ask advice. Somebody that is well, well far along in their career that they could point out little tips and they could tell you what you're doing wrong and they're a positive person that could guide you. Mentors are so vital. They're vital in, 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 with anything in life, but with tattooing, you gotta have friends and you gotta have mentors. People ask, Hey, I want to get an apprenticeship. How do I go get an apprenticeship? I hear the words apprenticeship and I kind of get a little queasy because I've seen so many bad, horrendous experiences from artists that I know or myself. And there's this whole like gatekeeping mentality. It's very old school. It reminds me of like Maybe like the bad music video from Michael Jackson in the 80s, how there's like this gang over here and this gang over here. I've just literally seen it and heard it all with this industry. And I love tattoos. I love being part of community. I've done most of the major tattoo conventions in the United States. I've been tattooing for 10 years. And no matter where I go, I find this old school gatekeeping hater mentality. And it just really freaking blows my mind that people could be doing something they're so passionate about or claim that they're so passionate about and are so unwilling to accept others. So I've literally heard these horror stories. It's almost like a uh, college fraternity or some something like that, like an 80s movie, like a college frat 80s movie with the hazing and the belittling and we're gonna make you stronger and give you thick skin. But in reality, it's just abuse. 
So it's not nice, it's not normal. A lot of very brilliant people that I know, very brilliant but timid artists, end up losing a lot of confidence in themselves and losing out on a lot of opportunities because of this. Like I said, it just truly disgusts me and it's very disheartening that there is this sect of these old school, you know, I'm not even gonna go there, traditional tattooer mentality. It reminds me of uh, like cave people and it's a big ocean out here. A lot of people get intimidated by competition, you know, it's a trending thing. Tattoos are popular. More and more people are gonna get tattoos, so you should never be afraid of your competition. The only competition should be you. Take a look in the mirror and that's your competition. And that's who you need to go up against. So my last little tip for up and comers is simply to post on social media regularly. Stay connected on the internet and realize how big of a resource you have sitting in the palm of your hands. Take advantage of it. Use it, post your artwork, post, hey, I'm looking to do a tattoo. Hop onto Facebook, you're gonna have a friend that's gonna be like, you know what, I support them, I will go get a tattoo from them. So that's really how you start. These are the beginnings. There's many, many chapters in the book of learning tattoos, but these are just some helpful tips that can get you from point A to point B. Alrighty, so I hope these tips helped you in any type of way. If you're an up and comer, go out, try it, practice these things, meet people. If you're an experienced tattoo artist, hopefully you could be that friend or that mentor that helps that person. So, thank you all for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you leave me some feedback in the comments section below and make sure you hit me with a like if you enjoyed it. And I wanna know, what types of content and what types of videos do you wanna see me produce? Shoot me a message on Instagram. And as always, don't forget to put the work in every single day. Take care, live your best life, follow your dreams. Peace out, thanks for watching.